Welcome and in today's video I will be showing you a pancake farm. This farm can make normal, sweet, and berry pancakes. So let's get into the video. Best way to start is placing a conveyor under the syrup bottler. The place a randomizer and another conveyor either side. Place a food processor, a randomizer, two conveyors followed by another food processor. Return to the beginning of your farm and place an industrial oven. Next place another conveyor, food processor, and finally two more conveyors. Set the food processors in order as shown here. Make sure you have the food processors are set in the right order to make the pancakes. Add any industrial chest of your choice. This completes the first stage of the farm. You can pause here to get a clear picture of the layout. For this stage, you will need glass blocks. Place them around the conveyors and syrup bottler. This is to make sure none of the bottles fall off the conveyors. Here you will place four glass blocks down either side of the conveyors. Place down a stair block and build around it like this. The stair block will cushion the fall of the berries keeping them on the conveyor. Build up like this to form a tube which will lead up to a small berry farm. Now place grass blocks around this tube. Make a square shape for now and we will come back to this in a moment. Place down four industrial berry baskets making sure the conveyors are pointing towards the hole. Now let's work on this part of the farm. Set up the wheat totems and plant the seeds making sure they are all within a three block range. To improve the efficiency of the farm you can upgrade the totems which will increase the amount of pancakes you make. To finish this section place a cold totem for the industrial oven. Back to this section. Build out and make sure this area is large enough for berry bushes and turkeys. You can use your own design for this as design I am using is just for the video. When you are done placing down the grass blocks, place glass blocks along the edges for the bottom of the wall. You can use fences or other blocks as long as they can keep the turkeys inside. Now on to the last stages of this section. When building a wall, make sure it is at least four blocks high. Because if you build it any lower, the turkeys can just jump over it and escape. You can add troughs to feed the turkeys if you want. The main reason you need a farm like this is for quests on Maple Island, which unlock Fanhorn. Now plant raspberry and blueberry bushes. To get raspberry seeds and turkey spawn eggs, you have to go to Maple Island and buy them from one of the NPCs. I added stairs here so I can get in and out of the berry farm. The only way to harvest raspberries is with turkeys. I added a glass pane in the middle of the hole to stop the turkeys falling down. Connecting up the maple syrup farm and if you are new I did a video on this farm if you want to check it out. The turkeys will harvest the berries and place them into the baskets. The rest of this video will be showing the farm in operation.
here's the farm up and running. I hope you liked the video and thank you for watching and have a nice day.